It's something millions of Americans do each year, get a massage. For most, it's for relaxation or to help with body stress or pain from an injury. But research is showing that massage can have a big impact on cancer-related fatigue, a condition that impacts many cancer survivors. Turns out, the science of massage is more than skin deep. I've been very healthy all my life. There are things 68-year-old Fred Fletcher loves, like working in a jar. And if you look hard enough, you can find weeds everywhere. <laughs> and taking a cruise around the neighborhood in his favorite car, a red Corvette. This is a fun car to drive. But those things fell away after he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. The radiation treatment was successful, but left him with relentless fatigue that made him consider retiring from his job of almost 50 years with AT&T. I worked from home a lot, and at noon for lunch, I'd come up and take a nap. And then I'd go back to work for a couple of hours. And then I'd catch myself sitting in my terminal going, High level of fatigue and low energy. During one nap, side effects, this commercial came on. Cancer treatments. If you're frequently bothered by fatigue and are at least Fred two joined a massage study at Emory Brain Health. Suffering from cancer-related fatigue. What was your experience prior to this with massage? I had zero, none whatsoever. It's the fourth such study in nine years, each one showing the surprising power of massage to help different conditions. Is everything comfortable? I tend to be really skeptical about stuff. And so here was this, this entity, massage, and people were spending billions of dollars getting massages. And when I started to read about it, I said, well, what's it doing? Dr. Mark Rappaport, the head of psychiatry at Emory, launched the first study to see how just one massage affects the body, with participants getting either Swedish massage or light touch. So even in unstressed young normals, we saw that massage increased the number of, of lymphocytes and increased the number of lymphocytes that, of actually white blood cells that had a marker for what's called the innate immune system, NK cells. A single Swedish massage in a healthy person, giving the immune system a boost and lowering stress levels. The next study was with people with generalized anxiety disorder. After twice a week Swedish massage, participants reported significant decreases in measures of anxiety and depression, and those results lasted months after the study ended. Good morning. Good morning. Rappaport and his team then moved into the world in which Fred Fletcher was living, the world of cancer-related fatigue. Great, thank you. The condition can affect up to 80% of people who get chemotherapy and 90% of people who get radiation treatment for cancer. Oh, that's terrible. This fatigue may be related to a low level of chronic inflammation. By the time Fred signed up, Rappaport and his team had already studied massage therapy on breast cancer patients. And what we saw was remarkable improvements in two separate measures of fatigue. Those measures, the multidimensional fatigue inventory and the NIH patient-related outcome measure of fatigue, showed that the women found massage provided clinically significant relief. So the question was, one, um, do men respond the same to massage as women? And two, do men with a very different type of cancer also with fatigue respond? Once a week, for six weeks, Fred got a massage. For an hour, I was in heaven. He also had his blood taken and rated That's his right. fatigue okay, levels on an back. app. How often do you experience extreme exhaustion? Often. How often do you run out of energy? Always. After six weeks of massage. Oh, I feel like my old self. Um, Sunday. Uh, after church, I was outside pulling weeds for three and a half hours. I would probably still be dragging around, lack of energy, uh, cranky old guy. The rubbing and kneading of muscles and joints in the body was affecting change far deeper than muscles and joints. I think that massage is changing and modulating our immune system in a way that decreases sort of the 
chronic inflammatory states that are, occur in, in certain disorders. We're seeing a decrease in inflammatory markers associated with these cancer survivors who've been plagued by chronic fatigue. We need to do more analysis there, but it looks very, very positive. Nine years in, this research is making a powerful connection. I could not do this before. That massage impacts not just the body, but the mind. Our body influences the brain, just as the brain influences the body. <laughs>